Hallo? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. What do you like to say to us? Are you a Muslim? I see that you have a Muslim name. Uh, yeah. All right. What do you think about the lizard, lizard trying to kill Abraham? Um, I don't, I don't, I wasn't listening to that. So what, why are you are calling me? For what reason? I'm, I'm inviting you to Islam. Okay, I accept. I'm going to have 72 women and they are naked and their legs is up. What? Why you are laughing? That's what your prophet say. Why you are laughing? I like to have a lot of women. By the way, we have a deal. 72 at least. Because, you know, for me, I, by the way, I can do more. But 72, I mean, this is the minimum I can accept. Where, where, where does it say that the 72 women? What the heck? You do not know. You are the Muslim calling me to invite me to Islam, but you do not know what your prophet said? Uh, I don't, I, think, I huh? don't know. Huh? I don't know. Okay. I will, uh, do you see my, my YouTube? Uh, yes. All right, but just be sure, please, that you, you mute it so you don't have double sound coming from there. Okay, here we go. I will put for you the Hadith. Uh, in fact, you know, your prophet, he said that the lowest reward is 72 women. This is not the reward for everybody. But because I know I'm a, like, I'm not a good guy, you know, and uh, I will not get all those. Like I did not kill any Christians yet or Jews or Hindus so to get those women. So look what your prophet said. The less people in paradise, the less, you know what list? The list. The lowest. Those are yeah. the okay. You see the you see the page in front of you. Yes. Okay. Can you read, can you read it for me? Go ahead, read it. I prefer if you read it for us better than me reading it. Go ahead. <clears throat> People in paradise and position is the one with eighty. Thousand serpents and seventy-two wives. Oh. So, what do you think? Seventy thousand, eighty thousand slaves, eighty thousand. Maybe it's not. Huh? Maybe it's not authentic. Everything in Islam is not authentic. I mean, you have a God is not authentic. Well, you know, this is the one. Well, isn't it the Quran says you will have a virgins too? But show like scroll down, show that Sahih. Right, it says Naif, but in different places it says Sahih. So which one you want? You want the Sahih or the Hadith? Which one you want? So why you Muslim? You keep quoting for us seventy-two versions, seventy-two versions. If there is no seventy-two version, so when you want, it's accepted. It's to be Sahih. When you want, it says it's a, it is a Daif. So which one? What do you think? Um, are you saying to me that you you you, 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 you Muslim? So when you say that, if are you saying to me that you Muslims, you have you did lie a lot about your prophet about what he said? No, I don't know. What, I don't know what you're saying. What, what you are saying to me? I just showed you the story. You says to me, I want something authentic. That means you Muslims, you lie. No, I want. Okay, okay. I'll I'll show you in. The Bible where Muhammad is mentioned. Where what? What? Where Muhammad is mentioned in Bible. Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible. Yeah. Which Bible? The corrupt one. Yeah, but there's still some. How you know some? Okay, you must have. You keep saying the Bible is corrupt, and now you want to show me in the book which is corrupt that Muhammad is there. That means Muhammad is corrupt. No, but. No, okay, so the so the corrupt. Christian so so the Christian they corrupt the Bible for what then? If they corrupt it to change anything to hide something, they should corrupt the one about Muhammad. Why did the why this is the only one is not corrupted? <laughs> well, 
Can you show me first? Can you show me, my friend, can you show me first Muhammad in your religion before you show it to me in my Bible? There's nowhere in the Bible speak about Muhammad, except he's a false prophet, deceiver, liar. Can you show me even your prophet to be a prophet? Okay, what the word the prophet mean? It means someone who receives a revelation from exactly God. can you show me where in the Quran it says that Muhammad he received a revelation from God uh, it's in the hadith it's in the hadith no it's in the Quran I can show you I don't know I don't know everything okay you do not know everything I you know you I know everything here we go this is your Quran let me show you the Quran says that the revelation Muhammad he have it is from Muhammad let me put about you for you on the screen all right the Quran confirm that the Quran is made up by Muhammad this is not in the Quran if you open page number zero zero two zero three zeros, you will find it there. It says here, in the Quran, in Karim. It appeared twice, at least in the Quran. Al Haqqa, verse number forty. At Takwir, verse number ninety, which means sixty nine. Forty. This is verily the word of honor, honored messenger. Is it, the, is, it the, is it the word of Allah or the word of honored messenger? It is the word of Allah. So how it is the word of honored messenger? If, if it is the word, if it is the word, you don't see my, my page? Oh, no, I see it now. Okay. Chapter 69, verse number. 40. It is indeed the Quran, the words of Muhammad, not recitation. This is a false translation. It says, La qawli Rasul in Kareem. You change the translator. Look, look how Muslim they try to, to you know, to duct tape. It says, The words of the messenger, the word of the messenger, not recitation. Yeah, but it says, Which he has brought from Allah. But it says, it's this, It is the words of Muhammad. If it's brought from Allah, it's not the word of Muhammad. It's the word of Allah. It can't be yeah, the well, word. If, it can't be the word of Allah if we say it is the word of Muhammad. Well, no, and the no, Muslim, they add things. Look, here it says, most surely it is the word brought by an honored messenger, but doesn't say that. It says, Kareem. It is the words of an honored messenger, not brought by. You see, I'm adding just more translation just to show you how Muslim they try to go to to fabricate. This is Yusuf Ali, the last one. This is verily the word of honored messenger. Do you see it? This is what the Quran is saying. Not a single word more, not a single word less. Well, whatever Muhammad Biban says is from Allah. No, the Quran says this is the word of honored messenger. How it is from Allah. If it is from Allah, then the verse is wrong. We should say, it is the word of Allah. Well, I don't know how to... Okay, so, to okay, the word of prophet means somebody he prophesy, correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Do you, did, you, did you go to school? Yeah. What, uh, what education you have, if you don't mind to share with me? Like I have kindergarten, at least. Okay, but we are. I'm the same, so don't worry. So I will not ask you about this question. It might be hard. So I will ask you: Do you know where hail is coming from? Hail, you know hail. The eyes come from the sky, you know. What? Hail, hail. You know hail. Do you know what hail? Like heal, like healing someone. No, hail is the ice which come from the sky. Like you have like those big balls like ice. They hit you in the head, you know, sometimes. Sometimes they hit you in the balls. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I know. Okay, so according to you, where the hell is coming from? Is it true? They are. I heard. I don't know. Uh, this guy. He is a Muslim. He told me that hail is coming from mountains in heaven, and Allah He break the hails and He throw it at us from the mountain there. So what do you think about this? Do you accept it? Wait, where does it say? No, I'm asking you. First, what do you think about it? I don't think that's true. What do you mean you don't think so? Are you saying this Muslim is not telling the truth? Why would you do that? He's a good Muslim. I think... I, I, don't, accept, I, I, don't, I don't really, I don't know. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really offended that you are insulting my friend. You know, we used to be in, in jail together. He's a good guy. He sells drugs. And, uh, you know, he's a very... Uh, like, he never always, he kept the promise. Like, he want to bring you drugs, he bring you drugs. He never late, you know. So don't say that about him, please. So look, it says here, and this is I'm showing you many Islamic translation, and this is a chapter 24, verse number 43. The Muslim they try to fix it. It says he he sent down from heaven, mountain wherein is hail. <laughs> this is your Quran. So how your prophet is a messenger of Allah. And yet he think that there is in the heaven, there is mountain of hail, and Allah, he break the hail, and he throw it at us. May, like maybe the heaven should be translated as sky. Yeah, it says the sky, actually, you are right. You know, how you know? Man, you are something. It says in Arabic here, the, by the way, do you speak Arabic? No. I don't speak Arabic too. Here it says, وَيُنَزِّلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنْ جِبَالٍ فِيهَا مِنْ بَرَدٍ فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاء So he sent down from the sky, from mountains in it, hail, and he hit with it whoever he will. Well, maybe the mountains are referring to clouds. No, it says mountains. It doesn't say a cloud. If it says a cloud, we say it's cloud. It says, and he sent down from the, from the sky, from mountain in it, I can show you the interpretation. You want to show you the interpretation? Okay. All right. You know what interpretation mean? Yeah. What interpretation? Here. Oh, okay. So chapter twenty-four, verse number forty-three. Let us go there. And then we go to the interpretation. And this is your official uh, government website of the King of Jordan. He used to be working as a driver for Trump before. It says here, he sent down, read with me carefully, this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. You heard of him, Ibn Abbas? Yeah, yeah, I know him. Okay, I know him too. Here it says, he sent down from heaven mountain where it is hail he sent down hail from mountains in heaven do you see it oh uh, when the stream is delayed it takes a while for me to see yeah it's okay it's going to come this is what happened okay, when you use the internet of the neighbors okay i see it now okay so is that the prophet of allah who says such a thing i mean this is even kids they knew this is not true Well, well, when I search up, I searched up this translation and it says something. It they says, lie, the Arabic in front of you, and this is the interpretation. Do you think Ibn Abbas, who is the cousin of your prophet, who his first language is only Arabic and he speak only Arabic, he did not understand what your prophet said? Anyone believe a false translation? Be honest. Well, the who is the one? Who is the one you can trust more? A companion of your prophet and he is his cousin from his family or somebody made a translation two years ago to say it in Amazon be honest which one who knows really what Muhammad said and what Muhammad meant uh, Ibn Abbas exactly and if this is what Muhammad said well Muhammad cannot be a prophet Okay, okay, wait, can we change the, the topic? Sure, sure. What topic you want? Go ahead.
Hit me. Okay, so there is in Song of Solomon 5.16, it, it, Muhammad is mentioned in the Hebrew. Oh, okay. Well, Muhammadin, that word means women too. So is your prophet a woman? It's talking about no. pretty. Is your prophet pretty? Uh, sure. Is your prophet pretty? Are you sure? Sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm very sure. Do your prophet, do he have a grass grow in his chest? Do your no. prophet have long legs and they are nice and sexy? How the song of songs is about your prophet? I mean, did you read it even? Did you even read it? You just go to a Muslim website and they say this is about Muhammad. Isn't it Muhammad Didat? Ahmad Didat was making fun of it, saying this is a porno. Muhammad Didat, he was making fun of Song of Songs all his life until somebody told him Muhammadim. Suddenly, what he used to call porn, suddenly it became uh, the prophet. It's not the porn no more. Every single Muslim used to call it porn. This is the, the song of porn. Then somebody told him Muhammadim suddenly. Muhammadin is in the Bible and Muhammad is there and this is a holy uh, verses from porn to verses huh? what? Some parts are corrupted and some parts are not my, my friend, but this is a, that will not fit your prophet anyway Same time the guy is obviously is not talking about a female is, is your prophet a, uh, He's not talking about your prophet. He's talking about a female. Is your prophet female? No, do we have a breast big boobs? No, no, he does yeah, he does. Don't you know that the Quran says that Allah, he made a plastic surgery for your prophet in order to make his boobs bigger. Don't tell me you do not know that. Honestly. Are you talking about the Isra and Maran? Well, yeah. I mean, when your God, he opened his chest and he expanded his chest. Isn't it the Quran says that? His breast, actually. Correct? But I don't know if Quran says that, but it's said in Hadith. Yeah, no, it says that in the Quran. It says in the chapter, even the chapter, and it's saying it's called a sharh, verse number one. So Muhammad is the first one actually in history who Allah he made his boobs big. You know, look, it says here, have we not caused their bosom to the light? Other translation, have we not expanded for you your breast? I like this one. Look at this. Why Allah, he did plastic surgery to your prophet to expand his bosom and his breast. Well, maybe it's a false translation. I, I, I do not need translation. I speak Arabic. It says, Alam halaka sadrak. And this is your Muslim translation. So what we would do? Look, this is Muhammad Bektal. This is Muhammad Shakir. This is Muhammad Yusuf Ali. All of them, they are Muhammad. Not even one of them is Ahmad. Well, it's probably, it's talking about his chest. Yeah, so, okay, so what happened? Can you tell us? No, his, his breast, it says breast, Sadrak. This is what they are saying, breast. Let us go with the chest, no problem. What happened? Do you know what happened? Uh, what? I mean, do you know what happened? What, 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 what this verse is talking about? Is it true that the angel Jibreel, he brought with him an assistant, nurse. He's an angel, but he's a nurse. And they put your prophet on the floor. And then they cut his, uh, his his chest all the way from his throat all the way to his balls. Like, you know, and then they took everything inside, all the material, screws, you know, uh, anything. They took it out and they washed it with the water of Zamzam. And then they put it back. Is that correct? What happened? Are you with me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I lost you. I don't know what happened. So what do you think about the surgery your prophet, he claimed that the angels, they came and they cut his chest and they extend his breast, which is nice, by the way. I mean, you know, there's many, they go to Thailand, you know, like LGBT community, etc., or like, you know, transgender. They go there and they make big breasts. They, they, they pump silicone there. And they have big, huge ones, man, like that balloon, like boing, 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 you know? So here, you're a prophet before all of this technology. 
Allah, he did it to him. What was the purpose of Allah opening the chest of Muhammad and pumping silicone inside? What he pumped inside, do you know? The blessings. Exactly. Unbelievable. But is it a blessing, something you can pump in? Since when bless is like is a blessing is a liquid, we can pump it. How how it's a how it's a blessing, and now Allah need to pump it, and He opens His chest and He pump Him with the blessing. Is that like blessing, like a, like the one you put for the air condition free on? Well, it may be like like an invisible thing. No, no, no. It's not visible. Invisible. It was visible. In fact, it says in the hadith that they brought it in dishes, and to make it simple for you, it was not a blessing. He brought for him two dishes, one full of faith and one full of wisdom. I don't I don't know do you think that we can put faith and wisdom in dishes and put them in the chest of somebody what do you think well, if it's in the Quran then yes if it's in the Quran yes if it's in Quran or Hadith then yes ah then yes uh -huh, I see if it's not then it's a lie right yeah uh, so you believe it blindly even if it's stupid uh, no, I don't. Well, if it's in the Quran, well, it's not stupid. Well, I mean, it's stupid because of. If, if, uh, okay, have you ever heard of somebody getting faith in this in, the, in dishes? Is faith is something? Is is it like a, a, an object? Is it like a material? Is it like a silicone? Or a faith is is a belief? It's not a material. Can we buy? Can I buy from you like two kilos of faith, please? No. Okay. So what are you talking about? So how Allah he 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 put for him, you know, uh, a dish of faith. Look here it says. I don't know if you can see my screen. So uh, when the prophet he was uh, like uh, almost asleep, they came to him, those two angels, and they took him to the and they placed him next to the water of Zamzam. From among them. Jibril, the angel Jibril. He took charge on him. So the one who is doing the surgery is Jibril, uh, Allah, bodies upon him. And he cut open his body between his throat to middle his chest. By the way, this is not a uh, correct, uh, you know, translation. But anyway, it says, Hatta anqa jawfaw, and all the way down to his testicles. And then he took all the material out. Why the angels taking all the material inside your prophet chest? Well, maybe it was for because Allah has commanded it. But why? Why? What they are doing exactly? Like you go to the mechanic, you know. Uh, let us say you have some bad oil in the engine, uh, something stuck there, like a piece of metal, you know, stuck there. Uh, this, uh, the, uh, you know. Uh, cylinder is broken something you know so what why you what they took everything off it was Muhammad was dead or was alive when he they took everything off they took his heart his kidney his liver look look here it says and read carefully I'll read it for you you correct me if I'm saying it correctly Abdu Min is that a correct word it's mean Abdul Min they took they took they this Abdul inside other prophet of, or this is something else what do you think what is word what Abdu Min means like 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 a follow like like a like a submitter i think or a follower or something like that it's what like a follower or a submitter or something like that he's a submitter no no this is the body of the part i was joking it's a body and the part inside you you know they call it in english abdomen you know because they start from the arab they call it now abdomen you know but the reality it is abdomen because this is abdu who is a prophet follower, he discovered it, and then the, those uh, uh, liars, the Western, they took the name from them, and uh, this is Abdumen, you know? So anyway, so they took this uh, part from his uh, stomach, and they start washing it, and his liver, and everything, they took all the material, see, it says here, they took all the material, nothing there, like naked, that's it. All the, the inside of your prophet is empty, all of it is in the water of Zamzam. And then they wash it with the water of Zamzam, do you see what happened? They wash it with the water of Zamzam. What do you think about this? It's a miracle of Allah. Uh, it's a miracle. But isn't it Allah 
if he is God, he can clean the chest of Muhammad without doing surgery? Isn't he God? Isn't the Quran says if Allah wants something to happen, he say B is going to be? Yeah, because it just Allah chose it that way to happen. Ah, that way, okay. Well, how come Allah did not choose to do that to Musa or Isa? I mean, how many messengers Allah he did surgery, plastic surgery for their boobs? Beside Muhammad, nobody. How come? I will tell you. According according to Muslims, according to Muslims, Muhammad was so dirty. So Allah could not take him to heaven as he is, for he is so, so, so dirty inside, outside. So he said to himself, this guy is so dirty to the point I cannot even do any command just to clean him. So he sent two angels and they did the surgery to clean him from inside. It was messed up inside, brother. I mean, it was like they took like two tons of dirt. What they clean from inside? What, what is inside? What's the, what's the problem inside? Well, I think every human would have to be washed before entering the heaven. Every human have to be washed? Before entering Jannah. Ah. So you're Allah, when you go to heaven, he will cut your chest? Well, maybe. Ah, okay. So how come Allah did not do that with Isa? Isa went to Jannah and nobody cut his chest. Well, maybe it's just not mentioned. Ah, Muhammad yeah. forgot to mention it. Okay. So now it says here, he washed it with his hands. Do the angels really have hands or he have wings? Are the angels might have hands? No, your prophet, he said he saw him with 600 wings. Maybe this yeah, time so he came, still... maybe his this time he came with the wings and the hands together. Yeah. Or maybe he come as a man. You never know. Right? The angels can take any form. I know. I, by the way, I'm an angel. You know? Yeah. But I don't look good. But anyway, right. look, it says here, uh, they cleaned his, inside his body. They cleansed inside his body. And then a gold tray containing gold bowl full of belief and wisdom. Do you see what Allah he sent with the angels? Now we understand what's going on. So they open his chest because it was so dirty and they need to take, he need to lose some weight because they need to put something instead. So they took all those material, which is useless, you know, I mean, battery, you know, Tesla, all the stuff. They took it, throw it out. And then they brought a golden bowl full of belief. Have you ever heard of a belief coming in a bowl? What do you think? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm here with you. I'm, I, well, don't look at your stomach now. So what do you think? Is it, is it, is it really, do you Muslims believe that God, he sent faith and belief in a dishes? It's a miracle of Allah. Oh, it's a miracle. Okay. And what about wisdom? Wisdom too in dishes? Oh, it's, a, it's a miracle. Oh, it's a miracle. But don't you think that this is an insult to Muhammad? That means Muhammad was not wise. He was so bad. His faith is bad. His wisdom is so horrible to the point. Allah, he need to do adjustment for his creation. Who is the one who created Muhammad? Uh, Allah. Okay. So do you hear about sometime like those companies, they make a recall like this. They, they sell you the car and then they call you. It says, please come back because the brakes have a problem. Is that true? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so Allah now is doing the same. He found that his creation is not good, and now he want to fix it. And what he's fixing? What he's fixing? Uh, it doesn't say that like he was fixing it. Just like he might have already had belief and wisdom before, but Allah is adding more. No, he is. He don't have uh, belief and wisdom before, and the Quran says that. You want me to show you? Yeah, okay. We go to the Quran, it says, uh, 
Muhammad, he was lost. How Allah he guided him? The chapter of Ad Duha, it says, He found you lost and he guided you. Chapter 93, verse number 7. Not only this one. Do you see this one so I can switch or not yet? I don't see it. I okay. see Arabic. All right. So Muhammad was lost. In Arabic it says Dal. Dal, not wondering. Dal means lost. So he guided you. Okay, how he guided you? He make a surgery. Let us show you another verse. Take your time to see this one. We go to a different one. We will find the following. The Muslim they say, the Muslim they say that Muhammad was a believer in Abraham. Is that correct? Yeah. Don't you think this is a lie? No, I don't think so. Hmm. So how in chapter of a Shaura, Shaura, verse number four, chapter forty-two, verse number fifty-two, it says that Muhammad he do not know what is faith. What is the scriptures? Do you see it? Muhammad, he confirmed that he know not what is faith and what is a scripture. Is it me saying that? No. Uh, well, because like before before he in the cave when he met the angel Gabriel he didn't know Islam no he said he don't know what faith is he didn't say he do not know Islam we have no faith he have zero zero faith you know you know what zero faith mean zero zero yeah but... you know no you, you don't know read with me carefully let me read again it says no, it, that... it's probably because like before he didn't have faith in Islam before no, no, he do not. He do not even know what is faith. <clears throat> he do not yeah, know. Because before, yeah, because before he wasn't like a, before he wasn't a Jew or a Christian before. So what he Islam. was? So what he was? If he, if I don't have any faith, that means I have no faith. It says you do not know what faith is, and you do not know what the scriptures is. So he know nothing about the scriptures. And he have no faith in the true God. He's a pagan man. So now what Allah is doing, if we go back to the hadith, Allah, he is installing faith to Muhammad. Muhammad didn't have faith. So Muhammad now, he need a plastic surgery, which is under, understood because he's messed up. So Allah, he said to himself, oh, this guy, I made him a prophet. I made a mistake. He don't have faith. He don't know even anything about the scriptures, and he do not know how to write, how to read. Is that correct? Uh, he don't know how to write or read. Yeah. So how he will we teach you if somebody? How somebody became a teacher if you don't know how to write, how to read? Well, I don't think Jesus knew how to write or read either. Oh no, he knew. Actually, even the Quran says to you that Jesus even spoke in the cradle as a wise prophet. So in the cradle, you know. And the Bible confirmed that Jesus he read. So now we have your prophet do not know how to write, how to read. He have zero faith. And now his God need to do plastic surgery for him to extend his breast. And then what he pumped there, he pumped faith and wisdom. But look what happened. You're a prophet now. After Allah, he put faith and wisdom. Is he wise and faithful? Oh, he Okay, so, so I think I know the answer. That verse in Quran, it was revealed before he got the revelation, so then after he got the revelation... No, added... no, my friend, this is a chapter... Look, 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 go, if you go read, those. this is chapter 93, and this one is chapter 42. If you go and check when those given, they're given long after Muhammad became a prophet. So now Muhammad now is a prophet, yet he does not know what faith and what scriptures is. All this time he's a prophet, yet he do not know. What is the scriptures? Muhammad is a false prophet, obviously. So how he claimed to be a prophet? 
Well, some parts of the Quran are abrogated, so maybe that was revealed when... It doesn't matter. Uh, Let us say, okay, uh, by the way, this is another stupid thing. I mean, what kind of God, he says something and he changes his mind second day? Is it true that your prophet, he says something at night, and then second day he changes it? Um, well, like, it, maybe it could be possible. Well, it's possible. I mean, isn't it God? It take God, angels, 1,000 years to come to the earth and 1,000 years to go back. So how the angels, they deliver the second message to Muhammad? That fast. How long it take the angels to go up to heaven and to go down to earth? Like 1,000 years. Just to go and to come back is 1,000 years, correct? Yeah. Okay. So now Muhammad, he gave a command today. Then to receive abrogation for it, the angels have to travel to Allah, correct? Well, maybe he was using, the angels were using the burqa, the flying horse. Or... Ah, the flying horse. <sighs> okay. Well, that makes sense now. So the angels are not fast as the donkey. Well, I think the burqa is fastest thing in the universe. How come it's called Al Buraq, which means he have a speed of light? Buraq. Yeah, I think he's faster than speed of light. But no, it says his name is Al Buraq. So how you call him speed of light? You know, and this is something you know exists in the old, uh, uh, like mythologies of uh, you know, uh, religions about the flying horses, and uh, this is Al Buraq. How it's uh, fast, you know, and how you can even, even to be in the speed of light. If you have a physical body, in order to go in speed of light, you have to get rid of your body to be light. But, to be light, uh, is the is the donkey is a light? It's just it's just miracle. All I can do whatever. Ah, want. so how come the angels are not as fast as the donkey? Uh, just Allah created that way. Ah, created. okay. But isn't it, isn't it, uh, you know, the, the, your, your God, he says, that the one who sent down the Quran is the angel of Allah? Isn't your Muslim keep saying Jibreel? The only time, the only time the story of this flying donkey appear, it appeared actually twice in Islam. Once that uh, Suleiman, he have a horse, he have wings, and he slaughter him, which is legion of the Jews. And... The second time when when this donkey came to pick up your prophet. Well, well the angel was probably riding the the donkey or was when. Mm. Yeah, you know I have something about this donkey. I don't like him. Do you know why? Why? Do you know that the, when the prophet of Allah, imagine brother, when the prophet of Allah wanted to ride the donkey, this filthy donkey, the same one. He was upset that the prophet would ride him. Can you believe it? Do you know that? Wait, what? Wait, what did you say? When the prophet of Allah wanted to ride the donkey, like the angels, he told him, okay, ride the donkey, al you know? Yeah. The donkey, he started, oh, you know, like a mule, you know? He's a big, big, a big donkey. He don't want Muhammad to write on him. Do you know why? Why? You tell me. I don't know. I'm asking you. You are the Muslim. I don't know. And then the angel of Allah, Jibreel, told the donkey, shame on you. Don't you know who's he? The donkey looked at the angel. He says, huh? Huh? He told him, this is Prophet Muhammad. What, what do you uh, think about this story? Well, this is just miracles. Uh, but why the donkey he didn't want Muhammad? Maybe he stink? No, oh, but Muhammad, peace be upon him, he wrote him. Uh, I see. I don't know. I mean, this donkey is really weird. Why he didn't want the Prophet of Allah to ride him? He was so upset, angry, and well, uh, he did ride him. Huh? But he, but 
But he, the prophet did write him, though. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. If there's any witnesses, by the way? Uh, that that did say it. Yeah. Who was the witness? Anyone who saw Muhammad riding this flying donkey? His companions saw it. Can you show me the reference? I never saw anyone saying he saw it. Not even one. What are you talking about? Well, I heard a, sto a story that the Indian king saw him. The Indian? What? The in an Indian king saw him. And then he went to Mecca and converted to Islam. Who? Who? Like this Indian king, he saw him riding the the donkey, and then he moved to Mecca. He's an he's an he's an he's an Indian. Yeah. Who is this? In, who is this Indian? Is that Moody? No, I, no, I don't know if the, if it's even true. I just heard it one time. Okay, but who is this Indian who converted to Islam? Is that Joe Biden? Because originally, originally he you know he is a he think he is an American Indian. No, 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 I hold on, I'll search, I'll search it up. Hold on, let me search it, you know, to see. Okay, I can't find it, but give, uh, give me. Okay, I probably heard it from a wrong source. I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. No, but his companions still saw it, though. His companions, they still saw it. No, no, it's okay. I mean, I will find it. Here we go. I, actually, I think I found uh, uh, that uh, the story, you know. All right. Here we go. Is that the one you are talking about? You know, this is what uh, you mentioned? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't see anything. Well, he's going to come to you now. Is that the, the Indian guy who came to Mecca, convert to Islam, and he was riding a donkey, yeah. flying donkey? Uh, uh, no, it's like... Uh... What? Don't tell me this is not the same. I don't know. I searched. It says, uh, uh, by Prophet Moody, you know, uh, riding a donkey, coming, you know, to Mecca, flying, you know, like, uh, because, you know, those uh, Mecca people, they don't like him, but he, because now he became a Muslim, he, he went when there's nobody in the Kaaba. Uh, it was so early in the morning, everybody asleep, you know, Muslim, they snore all day now. So he went there. Uh, he he fly this donkey have wings. Look, I don't know if you can see the wings. You know they are wingy wings. Uh, this is why actually they said to you in the news that Moody is a right wing Hindu. You know right wing. That explain it. So he used right wings. So look like this donkey he have only right wings. He don't have two like left wings because it's haram in Islam forget, to have right. Yeah. Do we forget the Indian this Indian thing? I, but in regards to like the Barak who who saw this from Mirage, like the companion saw it. Ah, no, even his wife, she said she was asleep and she never saw, uh, she saw even the, the body of your prophet next to her. Wait, she wait. said, yeah, she said, As, uh, Asra ruhihi, Walisa, so Aisha, she said, if he went, he went with his uh, soul, not with his spirit. Not with his body, sorry. But I, I'm really surprised that Moody, he uh, ride this donkey. Where, where you get this story from? If you can find it for me, please uh, tell me what the title Wait, what? Can you tell me the title of the of the uh, of the, the the article about this guy who ride a donkey, flying donkey? He went to Mecca. I saw it on YouTube. I don't even know. Ah, on YouTube. Okay. And then this uh, uh, Hindu. He's a Hindu. Yeah, I think so. And he then he. Uh, but how he go there? Did, did he do circumcision before he would go? Yeah, I don't know. No, I'm not saying he rode the donkey. I'm saying he saw the donkey, the barak being rode, and then he oh. went there to Mecca. Okay, I know. I know. Anyway, my friend, I think I'm convinced that Muhammad is a prophet. Because look, I mean, even Allah, he wanted to uh, treat him a special treatment. So what he do, he send him a flying donkey with two wings which is abnormal. And then before he do that, 
he clean his body, extend his chest, and he do install a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith. So do you think now Muhammad, after Allah, he installed wisdom and faith, like wisdom, especially wisdom, did he become more wise or more stupid? No. Huh? I don't know, but I'll explain a miracle of Quran. I'll explain a miracle of Quran. No, no, I'm asking you a question. I'll forget about the miracles. I understand. So now Allah, he installed a dish of wisdom in his chest. Is Muhammad now more smart or more stupid? Because wisdom, what wisdom would do? Would make you wiser, right? Yeah. Okay. So now Muhammad, after the surgery, he should be better than before the surgery, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you know where the sun set? I'm not answering. My grandmother, she said to me, that the sun set in a muddy water, boiling water. I, huh? I know where you're gonna go to. Oh, you know, you know, oh, you know the place. You know the place where I'm going to go to. Okay. So, how your prophet, Allah, He did the surgery for him, and now after the surgery, He says such a thing that the sun goes every day and sleep inside a spring of muddy boiling water and this is after the surgery i think the hadith is not sahih it is sahih well, look it says sahih read it no no i think it's only no because it's only sahih and chain sahih and chain means sahih i mean sahih and chain there's nothing wrong with it did, this, did they say if but I think there's other hadiths. Did they say that? Says but this is an agreement with the Quran. The Quran says that Zul Qurnayn, he found the sun sitting in boiling water. Are you saying to me the Quran is daif too? Isn't it no, the Quran no, the says Quran that? The Quran appeared as if it sets in No, the... nowhere it says if. That's a lie, my friend. That's a lie. If you can show me where it says if, I will shave my 25 meter beard. I got a ticket because of it. The police but here, they are so... Huh? I read translation, it says that. What translation? It's a lie. Use copy, word by word, and translate. Look, I'm reading a translation. It says, until he reached the setting point of the sun, which appeared to him to be... Okay, what, what translation you are reading? I don't even know. You gotta read the name or tell me the name. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. Okay, wait, it's it's the clear Quran. Ah. Dr. Mustafa Khatab. Ah, Mustafa Khatab. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, can you read for me what it says there? Like we're on your screen. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mustafa Khattab. Somebody saying the page for Patreon is not be found. That may come post for you the correct one. Right, let me post it over. I mean, that may post it. We put it there. Otherwise, we don't. So read for me, read for me what it says, Muhammad Khattab. Can you share with us? Do you want me to read it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, please. Go ahead. Yeah. Like from my own case, like so it says for me until he reached the setting point of the sun, which appeared to him to be setting in the spring of murky water. Uh, it's appeared to him. Okay. You know what? I will go with the translation of this guy. Did he say until he reached the sitting point of the sun? Okay, on your screen is different for me. It's no, 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 no problem. I'm showing sure you the translation you choose. Hot up. I just open it. I added. Where is the sitting point of the sun? The guy he keep going. He have a journey of many years in his life. And now he reached the sitting point of the sun. You see, the translator is a fraud because even though he tried to change it, to fix it, but he made a mistake. 
because there's nowhere it's called sitting point of the sun sun set everywhere is that correct uh, or like or like you can see like the sun setting in a murky in water you can see it setting where do you see where do you see that where do you see that you see even in his stupid translation it says in a spring of murky water have you ever heard of somebody see the sun sitting in a spring of water so he lied he says it appeared to him which is not in the Quran the Quran doesn't say appear it says he found it sitting he went all the way to the sitting place of the sun and then he found it sitting in a muddy spring now the spring of water is a small so when Muslim they try to fix it they lie they say when you go to the ocean you see uh, the Sun as if it's going down in the water but this is a spring of water it doesn't say anything about the sea or the ocean spring of water is just a little tiny water so we call it spring yeah, but it's still possible to appear the sun setting in no the it's not space. possible because spring of water you know it's possible if you're in the ocean to think about it this way because the ocean is so big but this is a spring of water so first did not say it appeared they lie and this is your muslim translation big tar in the top of it read carefully how come the same book they are saying totally different things they lie. You don't need to listen to me. You can take those words in the Quran and translate them one by one. Just one by one. Copy, paste in Google. Copy, paste in Google. And you will find nowhere it says it appear. Is it allowed for you Muslim to add words to the Quran? Is not there? Right, I'll try to I'll try to like copy the Arabic and put it in the yeah. And that's okay. A second. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay, I did it, and it says until when he reaches the setting of the sun, he finds it setting in a fever spring. Thank you. Yeah. So there's no appear. Uh, it says he finds it setting. Exactly. He, he found it setting. It doesn't say appear. So why is that in appear? If appear is not there, who is the one who's talking Allah? It's not even the guy. The guy is, is dead. And now they ask Muhammad, tell us about Zulqarnain. The Jews making fun of Muhammad as usual. The, he is a fool. They, they made him believe that Zulqarnain, the man with the two horns, which is Alexander the Great, is a prophet of Allah. So they told him, can you tell us about this prophet? Muhammad did not know much about him. So he went. He asked two slaves. They are from Assyria. And he, they told him some information. He come back after a few weeks, tell them, listen, Allah told me to tell you this. I got the information you are asking for. Hmm? This is what we find here. It says here, and they ask thee about Zulqarnain. Have you ever heard of a man? His name is the man with the two horns. Why? He's a cow. But this is the Roman guy, Zulqarnain. He put a hat, have two horns for war. So now Allah is voluntarily tell us about him. It's not the guy talking, Allah talking. So when Allah, he says, he found it sitting, it's not the guy he thought it sitting. Allah said he found it. Here is reporting a find, which means this is what happened. And it says here, if you read with me carefully, that when he found it sitting, in, 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 uh, he found the sitting place of the sun, uh, uh, he found it sitting in a muddy spring of water, which is boiling water, Hamia, by the way, is not just uh, murky. That's a false translation. It's boiling. The same word used about description of the hell in the Quran, Hamiyah. So how Muhammad, he claimed to be a prophet of Allah. And as you see, Muhammad, he confirmed the same meaning in the Hadith. In the Hadith, he confirmed that the sun set every day, every day. He, you know, he was with his friend. And he said to him, do you know where the sun goes? He said, no, Allah and his messengers knows best. He said it goes and set in a spring of hot water, not warm, very hot. Okay, but doesn't the, the Genesis also have scientific errors? It's what? The book of Genesis, doesn't it also have scientific errors? No. 
same time, if the book of Genesis has a scientific error, then how your prophet Muhammad, he put his hand on the book of Genesis and he swear by it. And he says, I believe where, in thee. Where does he say that? I mean, it's never, he never did that. Oh, okay. I will show you. Here we go. This is your prophet. He came to the Jews and he said to them, bring me the Torah. They brought him the Torah. Muhammad, he took his cushion, which he sat on it, showing a lot of respect to the Torah because he's a hypocrite, trying to convert the Jews to him to believe him that he's a prophet. And then he put his hand saying, I, he put his hand, he placed his hand on the Torah and he said, I believe in thee and him who revealed thee. So if the Torah, if the book of the Jews is full of scientific errors and corruption, this is the book of the Jews thousands of years after Moses. And Muhammad confirmed it. Do you see Muhammad take an oath by it? Yeah, but maybe this hadith is not sahih. Yeah, this is, it says here, it says Hassan. Hassan means good. Isn't it the son, the son, the grandson of your prophet, his name is Hassan? Isn't it Hassan mean good? Yeah. Okay, so how it's good, but it's bad? Well, maybe the, the Torah then got corrupted after that. Ah, okay, after that. Okay. All right, my friend. Anyway, thank you very much for calling. And, uh, you know, I, I'm advising you. I'm trying to, I try my best to help you. But anything you say, maybe, you know, you are a person, Mr. Mr. Baby, maybe. So any, as long as we go by maybe, then everything is maybe. Maybe Muhammad is not a prophet. Maybe Muhammad is a fraud. Maybe Muhammad is a prophet. Maybe Muhammad, maybe, you know, we go by maybe. So are you, when you go to the day of judgment, you tell God, well, may, I thought maybe Muhammad is a prophet. Even this guy, he showed me that Muhammad cannot be a prophet. He's a fraud. He keep lying. He keeps saying stupid things. Nobody will say. This is after the surgery. Allah, he made a surgery for him. And now Zulqarnain, which is Alexander the Great, is a Muslim. This guy is a pagan. And now the guy, he built Gog and Magog. Do you believe in Gog and Magog? Yeah. Where we can find Gog and Magog? Zulqarnain, he built a dam between us and Gog and Magog. Where is this dam? Uh, only Allah knows. Ah, only Allah knows. Let me tell you, ask you. Maybe this uh, dam is in the, you know, uh, dam land, you know. Maybe. I mean, we have Google, we can see every inch in this earth. You can zoom anywhere in the earth. Every mountain, every field, even your house. And now you are saying to me, maybe, where we can find this dam which he built made from copper and iron? And how this so iron... Huh? On the earth. Huh? Oh, yeah, I don't think... We haven't discovered everything on Earth. Ah, we did not. Okay. You think you will maybe discover it maybe next year, something like that? Yeah, they, they but, those, but those people, those creatures are not a human like us. And like each one of them, he will have 1,000 baby before he die. So by now, they are like billion, trillion. We are just 7 billions. So their numbers will be massive. Each one of them before he die, he will have 1,000 boy from his kind. He's not, they are the human. So how they are massive in number like this, which means they multiply so fast. Imagine from the time of Zulqarnayn until now, they will become trillion, 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 not billions. And where we can find them? Do, 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 you, do, you know, do you know about the Bigfoot? What? The big, the big foot. Like a big, like the big foot? Yeah, the guy, the, the American, they make videos about him. They see him in the backyard. The guy, he's a, he have a big, he's like big, he have a big foot. Yeah. Uh, many people, they keep saying there's a big foot, but until now we could not find one. But your prophet is claiming that there's a trillion billion of them and they are behind the wall and neither we found the wall, neither we found one of them we never would find a bone. We found nobody. And this wall is made from iron and copper. Uh, they could be under the earth somewhere. I know, I know. I thought about it. 
in fact in the other day I was like there's a mice you know I have good relationship with mice because as you know mice they are very they take revenge I cannot make them angry so there's a hole uh, this mice keep coming and I said to myself if I close the hole he will take revenge if I leave the hole he will come to my kitchen so what I did I said to him I put a sign it says maybe my neighbor house have better food for you since then he never come back so what mr. baby anything I show you, you say to me maybe I mean where we can find those people Jimmy, let's change the topic now let's change topic to what I mean wherever you go you say to me maybe yeah, but, okay why did Jesus know the hour what why Jesus what why do you not know the hour should I answer you by saying maybe as you said to me Oh, but why didn't he know? No, you are Mr. Maybe. I mean, I can give you maybe now. See, you, you Muslims play game. Same time, Jesus, he told you in the same chapter about the hour. He said, when this and this and this and this and this and this happen, I will come. So what Jesus is saying, that only the Father, it's only for the Father. He is the one who will announce the hour, for it is his decision. So right. Jesus, hold on. Jesus, he did not say maybe. He said, right. oh, shut up. only the Father because the father have a job I have much as a job I am the judge hold on I am the judge who is the judge according to Jesus in the judgment day okay but who is who is the judge who is the judge answer me who is the judge in the judgment day okay but okay, that part is it's some parts of Bible are corrupted listen listen not. don't tell me some person maybe mr. maybe so listen who is the judge in the judgment day is it Jesus no, 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 no. Why, why are you are saying no? Is that because that will make him God? Okay, okay, that part. I know we're gonna go. To who him, is that's who is the judge? Who is the judge in the judgment day as a Muslim mm -hmm. for you? Allah is judge, but okay. When in Bible it says Jesus is judge. All day. So how you explain to me that your prophet says that the Messiah will come back and he will be the absolute just and judge? But it doesn't say he'll be judge of judgment day. No, he says this is in the this is in the hour. He will be judging the whole earth. Even if he say it's not before it's not judgment day yet, but he will be judging the whole earth. He will be judge. It says Hakam and Muxitan. Imam and Hakam and Muxitan, which means absolutely just and justice. You know that nobody can be absolute just, only God. How Jesus have such a qualification? Well, it's because, it's because Jesus is one of the best prophets. Well, Muhammad, was he judging well, people? Muhammad, was Muhammad a person? Was Muhammad a person of just? Yeah, he was. A, yeah, he was. Like, like he ruled Mecca and Medina, so he judged sometimes. Okay, so why Muhammad? He said that he was unjust. Where? Here we go. This is your prophet saying that he is unjust and he put a conditions on Allah. Have you ever heard of a man he put conditions on of his prophet? He says, if any of you, I did beat him, I did curse him, I say the effort to his mother and his father. I made condition. I am only a human being for any person among you, Muslims, who I hurl medication or invoke curse or I give him a weapon make it source of a purity and mercy did he say clearly that he is being unjust and he is a cursing person and he is whipping people without justification well the prophets they can sin they can sin too ah but a second ago you said to me Jesus he is just, uh, yeah, but um, a second ago you told me Muhammad is just, and now he is not just. Well, he might be just sometimes, and sometimes he sins. Ah, so sometimes he whipped people, and he raped them, and he killed them, and he take their money, and he cursed them, and he said the F word to them, but then sometimes he's a good guy. Okay, but, yeah, but Jesus might also do that. He can, everyone can sin. Uh, no, a second ago, you said to me, I uh, said to you, why Jesus absolute judge? You said to me, because he is one of the best prophets. 
You said that, not me. You forgot? Yeah, even the best human, they can still sin. Even no. Okay, can you show me one place where Jesus sinned? Never. I just showed you your prophet many places. Even the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a sinner. Isn't it the Quran? Isn't it the Quran in chapter 19, verse 19 says that Jesus is the holy son? Holy. Is your prophet is holy? No. You Muslims practice hypocrisy and you add words to a man who is a sinner. Even the Quran confirms he's a sinner. But yet many of you call him the holy messenger. But the whole word holy should not be given to anyone save God. For no man is, a, is holy save God. But in the case of Jesus, he's holy. Okay. Okay, look, it says pure. Where it well, says a pure? Where a pure? Who is a pure? Right. Like the, the 19, verse 19, I searched it up. It says. Huh. So Jesus is a pure? That's the same. God. God is a pure. There's no human is a pure. No, there is. In Quran, someone else is called pure, I think. Okay, that's, uh, that is the cousin of Jesus. That is because of Jesus. <laughs> the family of Jesus, uh, they are pure according to the Quran. The family of Muhammad, they are a bunch of sinners. If you go in the Quran, chapter 48, a translation, the translation you told me, he's lying. He says, I forgive thee faults. Fault will not need to be forgiven. Sin only. You change the translator, you will see it is sin. So this guy, Khattab, is a fraud. What? Uh, this is Yusuf Ali. Let's see Khattab. Hold on. Where is Khattab? Khattab, Khattab. Ah, this is Khattab. Is it sin? Huh? Forgive your past. The guy, he, he, he ate the word sin. He ate the word fault. He ate everything. Another one, look at this. So, Allah is saying to Muhammad, May Allah forgive your sin. Look at this. How Muslim they fabricate in the translation? Where is the word sin? Why in the other translation the word sin disappear? In Arabic, it says, them baka. What does them mean in Arabic? Means sin, correct? I'm sure you heard this word before. A what word? Them. Them. Yeah, I've heard it before. Yeah. Them means sin, correct? Uh, yes. So why here translation doesn't say the, uh, sin? Only in this translation of Bikhtal says, May Allah, that Allah may forgive thee the sin. So you just told me that Jesus is a pure. You told me that the cousin of Jesus is a pure. And now you are telling me that your prophet is sinner. So how come everything, and Mary, my Mary by the way, is protected from sin. So how come everyone have to do with Jesus is pure and everyone have to do with Muhammad is filthy? Isn't it the Quran even say, isn't it the Quran made a chapter even about the uncle of your prophet? Isn't it your prophet and his, his father and his mother, they are pagan and they will go to hell? Isn't it even the uncle of Muhammad, which Muhammad grew in his house, he refused to convert to Islam? So as you see, the whole family of Muhammad are filthy. In the case of Jesus, Jesus is holy. All the ones belong to his name, they are pure. Mary, Zechariah, according to the Quran, Yahya, according to the Quran. I guess. Well, I don't. Yeah, well, I don't know how to answer. I think. I All right. Know. All right, my friend. I want you to do me a favor. You are a nice guy. You are welcome. I want you to watch this video again, check the reference, and my friend. If you follow Muhammad and you stay following Muhammad, you will go to hell. I'm warning you. Muhammad is a fraud. You're a no, prophet. No, no, no. You're a prophet, he said, according to your prophet, according to the Muslims too, that he have 16 privilege. One of them, if his eyes fall into a woman, the husband must divorce her so the prophet can if her. Do you think this is a behavior of a prophet? Wait, 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 where, where does it say that? If I show it to you, you believe it's not? Or you will say to me, maybe. What? What? No, I want to know if you are wasting my time. I mean, uh, uh, whatever I show you, you say to me, maybe. So I know the answer before I show it to you. If I show it to you, do you promise me if this is true, you will leave Islam? No. Okay, then take care. Take a hike. No. No. Even as a prophet, if in Muslim women, Stain women from their husbands. If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. 
even if I show him that, he will not leave the garbage of Muhammad. Ah, stay there. I was trying my best to help you. It's up to you. I mean, everything wrong with this guy to the point even his even his chest needed surgery. Even he need wisdom surgery. He need the faith surgery. I mean, what's what is left? In the case of Jesus, in the according to Muhammad, he is born wise. He spoke in the cradle as a prophet of God when he was just one minute old. Which means Jesus is born with the wisdom of God. Not only he is called the word of God in the Quran, he himself is the word of wisdom. Muhammad is 40 years old. Still he is talking and acting like a mule. Muhammad needed a plastic, plastic surgery installing dishes of faith and wisdom to adjust his stupidity. How in the world anyone follow someone like Muhammad? A child molester, a caravan driver, rider, a thief, even his followers accuse him of his teen underwear. And then he spent the day telling his followers a stories which nobody will believe unless he is mentally ill about a lizard who attack Abraham, he want to burn him. And all the animals in the world, they were trying to stop the lizard from burning prophet Abraham. True story. I mean, who can deny that? It must be true. We are told to kill the cross, a crow that also carries diseases and eats uh, uh, dead meat. We are ordered to kill snakes. We are ordered to kill scorpions. And these, by nature, are harmful. You forget the Jews and the Christians so and the Hindus. Them mm. is justifiable and it's a legitimate thing to do. Likewise with the house lizards. And there is a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari where the Prophet told us alayhi salatu wasalam, that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown by his people in the blazing fire, all the creatures of Allah all of them. used to try... By the way, even bees, bees, mosquitoes, all the creatures of Allah they come to the rescue of Abraham. He's in the fire now. I thought the reason he's not burned because Allah saved him. It turned to be known the mosquitoes. We, 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 all the creatures that came to save Abraham. Look at this story. Look how stupid Muhammad is and look how stupid this religion is. We are talking in the year 2023. People believe that there's a guy was going to be burned and then all animals from around the earth, they came to rescue him, all the creatures. Pigs, donkeys, lions, tigers, crocodile, elephant, chimpanzee, you name it. Even, even Joe Biden was there. I mean, that's it, chimpanzees must be there. Well, I don't know. The sound is the, is uh, down. I don't know why. I will check later about the sound. What's wrong with the sound? Uh, <clears throat> maybe if I do this, I don't know. Let's see. You guys are complaining. The sound is not good. Off the fire, with the exception of the house lizard. Oh no, it's better. I think it used to try to blow so that the fire would grow. Exactly. And this shows you that. Our relationship, not only with people, absolutely, with everything else, is dependent on our belief in Allah Azza wa Jalla, exactly, and our allegiance, allegiance to Prophet to His Muhammad. religion, right, and to the righteous. So and we fire. are going to be allegiant to stupidity. So now we have to go and kill the Jews, the Christians, the Hindus, the Buddhists, anyone don't believe in Islam, and we have to kill each other too because there's millions sect of Islam. Each one of them, he think he is the correct one and the other one must die. Islam is a doom to this earth. It's a curse. It's a satanic garbage religion.
They cannot even leave a little lizard alone. And you know what? I say always, your enemy is your size. If a dog is the enemy of Allah, if a lizard is the enemy of Allah, that is Allah is a lizard too. What kind of God he make his enemy a lizard? What kind of God he make a little creature like the lizard a target for hate? And now we have to kill them. In case you do not know, lizards are very important for us. They are very helpful. If you check with farmers, they will see how much they welcome lizard to be in their farm. Instead of spending a lot of money to kill bugs eating their crops, lizard they do it for free. And they don't cause any harm to your crops. Zero harm. While if we use chemical, it's going to do harm to us. For later, we are going to eat that food. So the enemy of Allah, Mr. Lizard, proving Islam to be stupid, who look better? Who look smarter here? This lizard or this sheikh? Who is the stupid for you? Lizard, are you serious? They want to kill the Jews. They want to rape their women. They want to eradicate them. They want to throw them in the sea. They want to kill the Christian. They want to take the Vatican. They want to take Rome. They want to take the White House. They want to take Spain. They want to take Europe. They want to take China. And after they finish everybody, now they will go to jihad again. Okay, what after we finish lizard, what you would do? Well, they kill each other. Since the time of Muhammad, they are raping and killing each other. Every single war in the Middle East right now is war between Muslims and Muslims, except in Israel. The rest of them, Muslims killing Muslims in Syria. How many millions killed? Muslim killing Muslims. Turkey, Iraq, Somalia, Yemen, you name it, Libya, Pakistan, Taliban, Afghanistan, Muslims killing Muslims. For this is the religion of the beast. And they are obsessed with the stupidity. Literally obsessed with the stupidity. There's a Muslim saying, his name is Army or whatever. He says, uh, I want to call you. Uh, text me, text me. Where are you? I don't see any text from you. Stop being uh, like a uh, like a brave who want to debate me, Army of Islam, whatever your name. Text me. I don't see any text from you in Skype. You're a potato liar. I converted to Christianity from Islam a month back. Thank you. Uh, okay, go to those channels you mentioned to me and ask them the questions. Here we are talking about Islam. Do we have any Muslims? Who is a brave Muslim would like to join us? I have a lizard here waiting for you. Don't you want to do jihad? Yeah, I know Afghanistan. Yeah, did you see two million Afghani were kicked out of Pakistan and then they want everybody to go to Europe? Muslims don't welcome Muslims. Two million Afghani, they kick them out. 
The same in Indonesia. They kicked out the Muslims from Myanmar. Hey, give me your Skype, Mr. Islamic Army. You are a potato. I don't see any text from you. You are a liar. Give me your Skype. I will call you right now. Post, post your Skype in the chat. Post it. Liar. <clears throat> Explain to me when Muslims say Jesus is Muslim. Well, those Muslims, as you see, even Alexander the Great, who used to have six parties, he's a Muslim. Anyone is famous, Muslim, they add him to the list. It's just to make Muhammad, to make many people accept. So those who, who you know, uh, uh, believe Alexander the Great is an amazing person, they will like Muhammad. A guy, his name is Al-Khudr, a fiction story from the Persians days. A guy who drank from the fountain of youth, suddenly he is a Muslim. Cats are Muslims. Dogs convert to Islam. Lizards convert to Islam. All right, hold on. All right, let me search your name. Give me a minute. Well, I could not find any name with such a thing. Here we go. I just search the name you gave me. I click enter in front of your eyes. It says there's nothing, nothing found. Your name cannot be found. And I think your name should not be like this. It should be like this. This is a correct way to share the link. To share your account. See, this is my account. It should be like this. You got your first Bible, which verse to read? You read the whole Bible. The Bible is not a verse, my friend. If you get the Bible, when you read a verse, there's nothing called is the best verse. All verses are best. This is not food. There's a best dish. There's a worst dish. Where is your account? Brave Army. Give it to me. This is how your account should look like. Waiting for you. So as you see, this you know, this is this cult is very weird, is very stupid, is very dummy. And who in the world wanna believe in such a garbage? Unless he is mentally ill. Like the guy, we keep showing him disaster after disaster, and he says, maybe. Anything, maybe. If it's in the Quran, it's sahih. It's correct. It's correct. I believe in it. Right? I am Abdul Hamid. You call me? No. If, if you call me, people will hear you. Stop lying. How the guy before you, he called me and you could not. Text me, text me, let us see. <laughs> Potato. The guy with the red phone from yesterday? Uh, no, this guy, his not name is not, uh, let us see, I think his name is still here. Uh, 
No, I don't think so. Anyway, if he is serious, he can't text us. That one, his name is Abdul. I remember the name cor correctly. Remember? Abdul. He called himself Abdul. Any Muhammadan? Mayday, mayday. Who is a Muslim would like to call me and he is ready to leave Islam? Or he thinks Islam is a good religion? Beside the lizard who challenged Allah and he wanted to burn his prophet. Look at this lizard. Those stories of Muhammad is a clear evidence that he is mentally ill and he is a stupid and he have zero education and he is not wise and he is so dummy and whoever believe in him is an idiot. Prove me wrong. A lizard who want to burn Abraham. You can tell actually from his face he's a criminal even though he's a plastic. This is your God. If you could not win war against a lizard, how you will win against Israel? Lizard. Are you sure? Mm. You send me a message, Abdul Hamid? No, you are a liar again. Just to block him, you know, he's just an idiot. Anyone can click at my account and he will find my account right away. So you have no excuse. And the the one in the is the same account, correct account. So you have no excuse. You're a fraud, my friend. Just get out of here, liar, like you're a prophet. Do we have any Mohammedan? He want to join jihad against lizard? How you are going to sleep today, Muslims? You know the story about the lizard. How dare you? He claimed he called me yesterday. Well, I don't see. I mean, if he's, he called me yesterday, then he should be here. I have all the names here. And why I took you yesterday and you did not... Uh, if you were able to call me yesterday, why you cannot call me now? Hmm? Any Mohammedan would like to join us? Mayday, mayday. Anyone? I will leave if you can explain what Sahih Bukhari 5080 means. You can leave. Are you making a threat to me now? 
Who cares if you leave or you stay? Guys, I will leave. <laughs> well, Muhammad is a pervert. He met one of his men. You know, his name is Jabir. This is what the hate you are talking about. I remember it. Muhammad, he told him, did you marry a virgin or a widow? He said, a widow. He said, why? Why? Why you don't go and find a virgin, a little child, so she can sport with you and you can sport with her? Hmm? You idiot. So here you see the devil side of Muhammad. The man is happy, happily married. He has not complained. He never said anything. Muhammad do not even know if he's married yet or not. He have no idea if he's married. He's asking him, hey, Jabir, where are you a rush? Did you get married or something? He said, yeah. Did what? Did you marry a little child? A little child. You see, in the Muslim translation, they say virgin. But the reality, it's about a child. And how you can prove that? You go to Sahih Muslim, Hayat number 7150. Uh, it says, let me find the hadith. Huh. Here we go. And by the way, you can leave. You know, the one who threatened me, you will leave. I'm not explaining to you. I don't care if you stay or you leave. This is the last of my worry. How we know that he's talking about a child? Read the answer with me. The answer, when he said to him, why do not marry a little girl? The answer said, and look what he said, look how disgusting Muhammad is. Why don't you marry? This is a trans Muslim translation. Why don't, 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 uh, didn't you, uh, did you not marry a virgin whom you would have plead with you? Plead, plead. This guy is a pedophile. Pedophile, they enjoy. They have special sexual desire with the children to play with them. And she would play with her. I said to him, Allah Messenger, my father died. He failed as a murderer, and I have a small sisters to look after. So I did not like the idea I should marry a woman. I should, I should sorry, uh, I, I did not like the idea I should marry a woman who is like them. The false translation is false. A girl, she is like them. So what is the age? He wanted a woman, not a little girl. He wanted a woman she can take care of those little girls, the orphans. So the coward Muhammad is encouraging the man to marry a child. This is a prophet of God. Read this one with me. This is Al-Bukhari. Two nine six seven. He said, My father died, and I have some young sisters, Sigar. So I felt it's not proper that I should marry a young girl like them. <laughs> they are orphans. To teach them manner, nor who would neither teach them manner nor serve them they need a woman to cook for them you need a woman to do laundry for them not a child like them so what muhammad is encouraging people to do he's going after a married man who is not complaining remember he did not say anything muhammad did not even know he is married or not and he is encouraging this poor man to go and divorce his wife and get a child in the age of his daughters or sisters. 
The man, he is more dignity and smarter than Muhammad. He says, well, I did not find it proper to go and find a little girl like them. Like who? Like who? Like them. Neither can teach them manner nor serve them. Is that how a good man he do? He see a man in the street, he advise him to go and find a little girl? Can you believe it? Hey, Muslim ladies, do you approve a man? He come to your husband and he said to him, hey, why you, why you don't go and marry a child? You know, she is young to play with her. You know? Is that what the prophet of God he do? A true prophet of God, he will say to him, well, good for you. You are married a widow. Good, maybe, you know, and especially her, you know, maybe her husband is a murderer, is a Muslim. A virgin woman, Muslims, they fight over her. And if this is the case, why Muhammad marry a woman? She is fifty years. She is fifteen years older than him because of her money. And this is telling you that Muhammad, when he married Khadija, he never liked her. He liked little childrens. Correct? Because this is telling you what Muhammad he liked. So why Muhammad marry Khadija? Because she was the boss and she was the most rich person in Quraysh. Do you see it? This is telling you that Muhammad is a pedophile to the bones. Not only he married Aisha at the age of six. This is what he liked. This is his desire. If I advise you, if I say to you, why you don't go and marry a child? So you, and what is the reason? To play with her. Look, look at the reason, guys. Look at the reason to marry a young little girl. So she will sport with you. So she will play with you and you play with her. Play? Play? We men, we marry children so we can play with them. So a man will favor a growing mature woman, will favor a child so we can play with them. You know, in the sex world, there's a lot of fantasy. Every human being, he have a fantasy. And the fantasy of Muhammad is what? Little children's. It's in the front of you. If this is alone, is enough, not enough for you to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. What is not a fraud then? Who of you will respect a man would do that? And who of you women, they will marry a Muslim after this? By the way, there's many women, they are so desperate for any husband, anything, just, you know, any, just husband in the bed. And here he go, we, we find a different one. They, they live like a goat, they die like a goat. Any man, just any man. They want any man in the bed. A true man of God, he don't do that. What Jesus taught us, the man he have to love his wife the same as Christ, he loved the church. The same as what? As Christ, he loved the church. He made the women equal to the church. He loved the wife. Not he used the wife, sleep with the wife. He loved her. Love come first.
Those people have no love. They just have lost. They just want to sleep around. It doesn't matter who. Even if it's a child. Let us see, maybe we have another Muslim. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Go Hello. ahead. Are you a Muslim? Hello. I hear you. Hello. Oh, boy. I hear you. All right. Well, his mic is not working. I mean, his mic is working, but he can't hear me. Fix your microphone, Mr. Bori. I get it, I get it, Menex, for testing my knowledge. I, I do not need your test, my friend. I'm the last one to test my knowledge. There's a reason Muslims don't dare to debate me. That is my knowledge. If I am someone or nothing, they will be lined up. You know what lined up? All those who go and debate in different channel, if they come here, they come only once. They never do it again. Never. Because it's a big mistake. Don't you see Nader Ahmad lining up just to want to debate everybody? He don't dare to come. Last time he came, I smacked him many times before. Last time he came, that's it. The guy, he, he took a hike. Do you remember the guy who he called himself Perfect Dawa? I made him Perfect Shish Kebab. Another channel without saying who. He is doing fine there. He survived. With the Christian Prince, he is a perfect Shish Kebab. Go watch the video. Name anyone we want. In there, they can survive. Here, we make them, we smash them, we fry them, we throw them on in, inside the oil and we fry them alive. This is why the only one who will call me from the Muslims is the one who will not or who don't want to lose his career. Even the coward Mimi Hijab, I am the one who called him. He hung up on me many times and he did not let me ask questions. Did you say that? Hang up on him. Coward, he was so much intimidated. Five, six Muslims around him. Plus his girlfriend Lidawa next to him. They do not and they don't dare to debate me. They go the ambush uh, apostate prophet. What, what about you ambush me? <laughs> do you even dare? Why women cannot be leaders in a church? Well, why women they should be leaders in the church anyway? There's no men. Leading, leading is about going out, doing missionary work, teaching, going to villages, doing funerals. So this is the very hard job the man he should do. However, who said to you that women, they have no place in the church? We have in the church women who teach, women who preach, and we have even in the Old Testament women who they are prophets and even judges. It is in Islam who women are nothing. In Christianity, women have a very special place and the proof of that, Mary. Who is better than Mary? Is there anyone better than Mary? The Lord himself, he chosen to be born from a woman. He is a son of no man. So don't tell me why women cannot be leader in Christianity. Look who is talking. Don't you go and see women are preachers, women are teaching. But for us, the right thing is that women should preach to women. Because they can talk about things. They don't want to talk about men. Women, they have their issues. They have their secrets. They have uh, uh, personal issues. They will be shy to speak about it to someone strange. So when people, they come to you with false excuses, false excuses is debunked in a second. Let us call this guy again.
Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Do you hear me? Ah, uh, kaise ho, bhai? You hear me? Hello. Yes. All right. You are a Muslim. Yes. Yes. Can you mute you too, please? I hear myself twice. It, it is muted. No, I hear myself twice. Ah, uh, I don't know why you hear yourself twice. It's muted. Are you going live you in YouTube YouTube in somewhere else, else and it's open? And it's open. No. Will I hear myself? Will I hear myself? Because of your own speaker. Uh, can't you use a headset? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'll call you. No, no, hold on. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, do that. Okay, it's better if you uh, use a headset. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, another idiot. He is spreading rumors about uh, Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa, she stole money. Get out of here. And you are you are the one who was charging the account, right? The women, she left Europe and all the glory of Europe to live between the poor. She sleep in the floor. And now you are in a bad mouth. Are you idiot coward? Shame on you. Do even she need money? A woman in her age, what she would do with it? She will spend it over the boyfriend in the villa. Stupid people. Disgusting, low class. <laughs> they wanna, I mean, they, they slander everybody, the dead, the alive. Nothing is safe from their tongue, which is the tongue of the devil. She spent her life, who wanna go and live there in the slum in India? She live in the slum. Somebody told you she have a nice car. She never have a car. She never had a house. This is why people loved her. Idiot. Anyway, we are waiting for this gentleman to fix his headset. And we will call him. I hope it's not going to take long. Yeah, there is a kind of people, you know, they they have to bad mouth everybody. It's enough that this woman, she brought a lot of people to the faith to believe in Jesus. She did a job of a million man. We are waiting for this Abdul. Yeah, I know, it's okay. I mean, what you can do. But we, for us, we will not allow uh, such a thing in our present. All right. Well, look like this guy will take him forever to fix it. And really, I'm not going to wait longer. It's already getting late. Did we have a good time? I hope so. Uh, remember one thing. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. All of us, we are sinners. But when somebody claimed to be a prophet of God, at least say something good. At least even if you fake it, fake it, you know, like fake it to be good. But you go around teaching men not to marry a widow woman, but to marry a child, and the purpose is what? To play with her? Obviously, you are a scumbag. From their fruits, you shall know them, not from their speeches. There's many people who are so good in speeches.
They have fantastic ability and skills of languages and speeches and comfort, you know, they, con they, uh, you know, they convince you with things. They call themselves man. But the prophet of God, he do what prophet of God do. And he don't promote wickedness. Even if we do sometime wickedness, we will never dare to promote it. The second you promote wickedness, you are officially a wickedness vendor, which means you are the devil. So I hope you have a good time. Tomorrow I'm going to go uh, I have a video to post or I will make a video about it. I'm working on it. Or I will go live, I'm not sure. So until I see you tomorrow, I, say, I hope uh, we have a, you have a great time with your family. It is uh, Sunday time for many of you. It is Monday for many. And uh, I hope that we will meet again and the Lord will provide us with more Muslims to leave Islam and to see the truth, and the truth will set you free. God is good, so is Jesus. I mean to that. See ya.